Hey everybody, today I want to make fast TNT dupers. So this was a challenge by John Ponzer. He asked me to make a TNT duping module for the 4.4 blocks per second engine. Okay, now I want to start with a reference first. So this is a normal uh, two blocks per second engine and in front I have a compact pushable TNT duper, which consists out of nine blocks. Okay, now let's start this. So as you can see, it does its job, it's not super fast and yeah, dupes a TNT every block. So the next step is trying to add TNT duper to a 3.3 blocks per second engine. So this is also still pushable, but I had to add some extra blocks uh, in order to power those pistons. So we now aim at push limit of 12. Um, I guess I could also pull the whole TNT duper, uh, which probably would be easier, but this is still pushable. Okay, here we have the direct comparison. Normal speed duper and 3.3 blocks per second duper. Okay, this is quite good. Village gets blown up. Now let's see if we can also get this uh, TT duper attached to 4.4 blocks per second engine. So next is the fast 4.4 blocks per second engine. And I want to show you what the problem with this one is. Because you can't just uh, pull the TNT module behind you. So just uh, put some blocks there to illustrate it. Um, because this sticky piston here, they will pull stuff. But only get activated every second block and you immediately uh, lose everything that is getting pulled behind in case you do some special extensions. Okay, so let's start this one. As you can see, this is super fast, but yeah, you would lose the TNT duper. So we have to come up with something else in order to get this to work. So what I could do to make those extensions work is adding more pistons to it that basically push this, far, this part forwards. Then those pistons are attached to those line blocks here. And then the next step, they pull it. Uh, so basically this slime block structure here gets pulled by this piston once and then by this piston every second block. So that's how you could add the extensions as you can see. And all we need to do would be to add the TNT duper to the slime block structure here in the back. But this is not really possible with this extension here since we already got five slime blocks and four pistons. So we got just yeah, three uh, blocks left in order to make a TNT duper and that's not really possible. But we could try again, so we could chain extensions and start here. And this is quite an advantage that we could use this sticky piston here, since it's below the other piston, so we could just easily go down. So what's the thing of TNT tubers is if you pull them, is that you need to uh, pull them from a higher angle or spot, otherwise the, uh, the rails would pop. So if we would try to pull it from here, then because of the update order, um, you would yeah, lose the rail. So I always need to um, pull them from a, a higher spot. Okay, and let's try to add an extension. Let's see how close we could come to the push limit. Okay, so first of all, we need to add four more pistons in order to make this work. So yeah, the update order is important uh, for those pistons. In case you want to know more how those 4.4 blocks per engines work and also explain the update order a little bit, I did in my previous video for detailed explanation. Okay, anyway, let's continue here. So we need to power everything, do it like this, and also yeah, put some slime here, and the extension is ready. So in total, this is, that's just a satellite, um, it's not really important. So in total, we already got three slime blocks and four pistons. So we got five blocks left in order to try to make the TNT duper. Okay, now let's try to add the TNT duper. So we already got seven blocks and we could place the rail here. If you would try to place it higher, then yeah, it would pop off since this sticky piston and this sticky piston pulls it. And if we would place it one block higher, then it would pop off as I showed before. Okay, so with uh, 8 blocks, 9 blocks the rail, and 10 blocks the fence, which prevents the minecart from falling off. Then we need the TNT, I just use a resin block for now. And then we have 11 with the TNT, and now we just need some rails in order to dupe the TNT to 12, 13, 14, and we're way above the push limit. Let's at least uh, make the TNT duper ready. So I just need to push the thing one block forward. So we need to get rid of two blocks so I can push this. Okay, and I'll pull it. And we get the first TNT 
and it could even land on top of this um, yeah, slime block here, unless I would place another block here even, so there's even a chance this would blow up. Anyway, let's try this, and we're unlucky. Um, I guess I'm going to try again and make the dupe ready. So this time I had more luck and the TNT fell down, but yeah, doesn't help much anyway, since we are already at push limit 14 in order to make it reliable. We would even need to place another slime block there, or another block, and we had push limit 15. So we could um, change the push limit with Gnemon's carpet mod, which I want to do here. So set it to 15, and just want to try it out so, so we can see that it would work in theory. As you can see, we get TNT duped at 4.4 blocks per second. But obviously this wouldn't work in normal yeah, vanilla survival Minecraft. So it seems like having a duper as part of an extension won't work. Um, maybe you could rearrange it somehow to get it down to push limit 13, but yeah, getting rid of two blocks doesn't seem possible to me, which doesn't mean it's impossible. Uh, so if you find a way to do this, please let me know in the comments. But anyway, dormant, I don't find a way to do this, so we need to try something else. Extension won't work. So what we could do instead is use it, yeah, is using a second engine, so we could alternate. So the idea is that yeah, this skip piston here would pull every second block, so we would pull it once, and you would have a second engine next to it, just a little offset of one block. So we would pull it to here, and then this piston could yeah, pull it again. So we would alternate between two engines. We just need to start it um, at the right timing. So let's start with the TNT duper first. We definitely need to have one block of air between the two sides, otherwise yeah, the slime blocks will touch and so on. So we need three blocks here. Then we go down and over. So five, six, we need a rail. And TT on the side. Seven, fence in front, eight. Now just the rails. Um, nine, ten, and eleven. So this should be good. Now let's actually assemble this. Let's get the TNT here again. Put the minecart there. And yeah, let's assemble it. And why did it update? Probably some update order issue. Um, well, let's try from this side. Okay, this works. Okay, if I reject this, new ones, and I've got the TNT tube ready. Okay, so we just actually need to add the engine on the other side, just one block in front, and then we could actually launch it. So I build it up completely. And I hope the timings are right. Now let's try to launch this thing and let's see if we can get a TNT duper attached to 4.4 blocks per second engine with a push limit of 12. And nope. <laughs> what did I do wrong now? Okay, I found two issues. First, I changed the starting sequence. Now we yeah, activated those stick pistons at the bottom. And I also had to change the TNT duper a little bit because of the um, update order. When I tried to assemble the TNT duper, you saw when I used this piston here, it got activated. Um, that's why I moved everything over by a block and this should actually work now. So let's try this out. And there we go. Update order doesn't work. I guess I have to play around with this a little bit more. So third time's the charm. The update order just was not my favor with this location here. Uh, that's why I had to change it up a little bit. So I added another extension for each engine which pulls the duper behind. Um, so now the TNT is on the right of both of those um, sticky pistons and yeah, also no other conflicts. And I'm quite confident this should work now. Um, okay, now let's start this. Also start the other engines as well, so we can see the direct comparison. And here we go. Oh yeah, it finally works. Minecon went down, but I guess it was unrelated. Yeah. You can see, normal engine, quite slow. The 3.3 engine is already quite fast, but this one is just crazy. Just look at it. And the aftermath. The village is gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. I also added a little, yeah, even a driver's seat here. So you can have a nice view of the destruction. And you could keep this running forever unless you uh, run into a mountain. Or something similar. Okay, let's take a look at it again. So in case you want to build this, I will provide a world download. But that's it for today. 
Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.